Hi, thanks for tuning in today. I want to show you what to do if you have a snake that is not shedding its skin because it's too dry where you're at. You know, a lot of snakes need high humidity. A lot of them are, are from high humid climates. So what I have here in my pocket is a little baby royal python. And look at his skin. See how his skin looks all wrinkled? That is because he's trying to shed and it's too dry. I was going to set up an aquarium with a terrarium with a lid and I have, that keeps the humidity in. And I have a setup, but it's not that great. So I need to work on one. I have, you can hear this little heater going behind me because I don't want to heat the whole house. I got this, this room being warmed up. But look right behind him, right? Oh, where is it? You can see him trying to peel skin off right there on his neck. Right there. He's got the skin off of his head, but not the rest of his body. I don't know if this, see how bright his head is? And then see how dull this part of his body is? That's because he shed on his head. And see how bright it is behind on his neck? And then the rest of the body's not bright. That's because he needs to uh, shed it and it's too dry. Even though I, I mist it all the time, have a towel over it, heat to create the mist, you know, keep it warm. But let me show you a solution that you can do. If, if you encounter this, you need to get this off of him because he has to grow. All right, so imagine wearing the same pair of underwear f since a child and you keep growing. You never take it off, how tight it's going to be, besides disgusting. <laughs> so I'll show you, watch. Let's see how, I'll show you how to take this off. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm the sink up. So I'm turning on the hot water to, to get hot going. And it's already hot because I pre-warmed it up. So I'm going to close the bottom, and then I'm going to turn the cold on to adjust it. Let me turn this heater away, it's blowing on me. All right, Phoebe, don't mess with the snake. All right, so we need to turn down, turn some more cold on. No, Phoebe. We want to get this kind of lukewarm where we can put our hand in there and it doesn't burn us. Phoebe, this is not a toy for you. So get the heat going a bit. There, it's a little bit cool. That feels good. Okay, so that feels good to my hand. I'll put my other hand in here and see. That feels good. Maybe it's a little warm. He's got his little tongue coming out. Sometimes when you do this, they'll also have bowel movements. The warm water will make them have bowel movements. All right. So that's good. So now that it feels nice and warm, it's not hot to me. It's not burning me. We're going to set him in it. And of course he's going to try and get out. Phoebe, no. So we'll splash Phoebe some. Oh, come on. He's getting big enough. He can get out of this. We might have to move to the bathtub soon. So we're just going to let him play in here for a bit so that his skin starts to get moist and starts to release the uh, extra skin. Then we're going we're gonna to peel it off of him like a sock. Phoebe, let's put you on the ground, Phoebe. Oh, go on the ground. Okay. Make sure I don't have a bunch of cat hair on me. I'm grabbing Phoebe with wet hands. See, now he's kind of calmed down. And make sure they can't get down the holes here. The back of your sink, you have drain holes right here. <laughs> make sure they can't get into those. He could get his head in there, and then you'd be in trouble trying to get him out. So if you need to, cover those with duct tape. All right, so let's see what we can do. I've already done this once with, I don't know if it's probably the other, the other one I have, not this guy. Oh yeah, it's starting to come off. Starting to get some skin off right there. If it'll focus, come on, focus, focus. Probably have to use my whole hand to block the screen. Come on. Uh, is it gonna focus? A little bit of skin right there. Okay. Athena, this is not a toy, and pretty soon you'll see the, the sink water filling up with skin. Yep, it's coming off, it's getting nice and bright. And if you have to do the eyes or around the mouth, you've got to be really careful, especially pulling it around his uh, eyelid, around his, uh, you know, his eyeball so you don't damage his eyes. I wish I would have filmed the previous one to show that one, because that, that snake, the other one had it around the eyes and the 
the pit holes, you know, the holes that they sense body heat, you know how pit vipers have holes, these guys have holes around their lip to sense heat. And I pulled it right out of there and he let me. And I uh, actually touched his fang and stabbed myself a couple times. I was bleeding. There's some skin. See? The sink is filling up with, with all kinds of uh, old skin. We can just peel them like a sock. You want to be gentle. You don't want to hurt him or, or her. It might be a female. I haven't sexed these, so I don't know. I could have two of the same. But just keep him in the water. See how mellow he is? He likes it. He's resting on my hand there. He knows what I'm doing. It feels good, and we're getting the old skin off. It's probably itching and dry, and this feels really good. And don't be surprised if they have a bowel movement. And you can always disinfect your sink with uh, bleach, you know, whatever you want. I have some, uh, I use this stuff right here, seventh generation. But I also have some Nor Norwich stuff, uh, a towel with silver in it that kills all bacteria. It's amazing. I'll do a video on that in the future. I need to get a, um, they have the little, the pins. It's a little um, device that test protein and bacteria. I don't know what they're called, but you can test surfaces, you swab it and stick it in a test tube and then it tells you if there's bacteria on there. And I want to do that with this uh, towel that gets rid of it. It's amazing. I've seen it done. So can you see all that skin in the sink? We're getting a lot of it off. Look at that. See how it just peels right off? You see that? Look at that skin. If it'll, stupid camera won't focus on that. Yeah, there's skin right there. So we'll just keep going. He's loving it now. There's some on his neck I missed. But I'm keeping him under the water. And I'm just peeling it, rolling it back. Just like you roll a sock off of your foot. I'm doing it nice and gentle. I'm just rubbing it with my thumb. And if it comes off, it comes off. If not, I don't force it. Zeus, don't beat up Helios. Zeus, be nice. My big 18-pound Tomcat's quartered the 14-pound younger Tomcat. He's beating him up, Zeus. All right, so we got it off his back there. The only area I see is the neck still. Came off really fast. And you always want to go from the head to the tail. Never go the opposite direction. Always push down from the head to the tail. Oh, look, there's a whole section here I missed. Look at that. See, that's quick and easy, Phoebe. And if this guy was any bigger, I wouldn't let the cats be this close to him. Because I'm more worried about him hurting the cats. The cats are loving this. You can't, this is Athena right here. Phoebe's up above the sink on the shelf. And I had cats when I used to raise uh, giant Burmese pythons. But I, always, I wouldn't do this with them. No way, the cats would be locked out. I would control the, the snake's head if I, uh, if I ever did that. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, I took pictures with my other cats in the 90s with, you know, laying, in, laying on the pythons. But I always held the snake's head. And I wish we had digital back then, and we really didn't. It was a little bit, but not much, so I don't have anything online. All right, so let's see. He's got a little bit right here. Helios, what are you doing? Got a little bit underneath. It's real important to make sure you get it all off. And the water now is, is just pure hot, but I'm not pouring it on him. I'm just touching it to my hand. And you want to check their, their, their bum here, their colloquia, to make sure you got it out of there. Kitties, you want to sniff? Kitties are sniffing. Kitties! <laughs> Let's turn the camera up. Okay. This is supposed to be a video about, about the snake peeling, not the cats. He's got a little bit left on his neck here. 
I'm going to see if I can just rub it with my fingers with warm water. But look, look at all this that came off. This is not even all of the skin. Will it focus? Come on, focus. There we go. That's not even all of the skin that I got off. Put that in the trash. It doesn't matter if some of it goes down the sink as long as you have good drains. You know, last time a lot of it went down the drain. So there's some more skin. Focus. It won't focus because it sees the background. The camera will focus up close. It just won't because it sees the background. So the water is very hot to my hand, so I'm adding some cold. And I'm not sure if I got it all off of him. Let's see. There he is. He's looking nice and clean. And it won't focus on him. Dang it, his tongue's coming out. Meow. No, she's reaching out with her claws. So I got Helios here, the 14-pound tomcat. Phoebe, the 9-pound female. And Athena, the 5-pound female, the younger one. All right, so that is how you get... Oh, wait, look, see, there's some skin. That is how you remove skin that stayed on your snake because the humidity is too low. Very simple, very quick, and easy to do, and it's very important that you do this for the snake's health so it can grow properly. And he wouldn't eat. I just offered him a, a mouse, and he was actually all week long, he was looking out, peeking out at me against the glass. So I figured he was hungry. And there's a little bit here on the neck I missed, so I'm going to clean that up. But thanks for tuning in, and uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you later.